Mateusz Dwajnikowski, a plant, a plant, Mateusz Dwajnikowski. Mr. Chairman, my fellow Toastmasters and beloved guests, one year ago, this flower was dead. It started in a kind of usual way. My friend gave me this, and I started procrastinating. I was thinking, well, I will water it the next day, and the next day, and the next day, until it was too late. I think you recognize this pattern. But one day, there came a friend to me, to my house, and she told me, look, there are still a bit of green on its leaves. I said, no way, this flower is dead. No, it isn't. It just needs a bit of empathy to feel its needs. Just a bit of courage to make the first step. And just a bit of water to strengthen its roots. Under her inspiration, I decided to take care of this flower. I started watering it regularly, and after a few weeks, there came an award. A small green leaf smiling at me from the ground. <laughs> but not always there is such an inspiration. I remember the story from my childhood one of my family stories. Two aunts conflicted with each other, fighting with each other, hating each other. One of them asked if they cannot just bury the hatchet, answered, no, it is too late. This relation is dead. It was indeed. Two months after that conversation, when one of them passed away, leaving the other with sorrow and regret. But there is another story. 21 years old computer guy met a girl. Soon it appears they listen to the same music, they read the same books, and they share the common vision of the world. But as it sometimes happens, they started drifting apart because of negligence on both sides. 3rd of March 2012, a train of relation Krakow-Warsaw, the cursed relation which has taken 16 human lives. Our computer guy was also in that train. Lucky for him, he survived. But this influenced him so much, he decided to call that girl from the past. One meeting, another, and another. And for now, they are a happy couple. Do we really need such a borderline experience, the smell of death, to change something in our lives? I hope not. Because if you look at your past, you will see whole garden of relations. Look at this tall and strong. Look at this small and early. Look at this hidden in shadow, forgotten by you. The relation with a person who you used to like. You used to know you may be loved in some way. You would like to say, this relation is dead. No, it isn't. It just needs a bit of empathy to feel its needs. Just a bit of courage to make the first step. And just a bit of water to strengthen its roots. And I hope that one day you will hear that voice in your mind that voice telling you 
that this relation is not dead and it is still up to you how you will manage that. This is all in your hands. Mr. Chairman.